Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R2, we're going to talk about a new feature in sales prices. So in Acumatica, we have sales prices that we can set. We can set them through price worksheets at the base level, at the customer level, at the customer price class level. But we also have discounts. And there's a lot of options there in terms of discounting at the line, the document, or the group level where you have the multiple items together can be eligible for a discount. But typically with discounts, and specifically to line discounts, those discounts are generally configured to be automatic, where all the conditions are in place, and when you add that item to a sales order, for example, the discount will trigger and automatically apply to that particular line. Having said that, there could be conflicts. When we talk about price worksheets where we give specific pricing, we may not want to have those discounts to be applied after we've given a specific price. So if we open up our price worksheet, sales price worksheets is like a document that allows you to add prices specific to customers, for example, or customer price classes, groups of customers. So if we were to add some items to our price worksheet, we'll select a couple items here. Under price type, this is where we decide, is it a base price, is it a group of customers, price class, or is it a specific customer? If we select specific customer, for example, this price code will give a list of customers. So if we pick this Church of Apostles for these given items and we add them, Acumatica will drop those items into our price worksheet and it'll pick the price code, essentially the customer. So now what we can do is we can say, all right, well, there's a certain break in price or a certain measure or a certain warehouse. All these options exist. And we could say, all right, well, this customer gets a specific pending price of $350. That's a pretty low price for this item, considering the base is $500. And for this one, we'll say 50. So we're just trying to make this trying to stretch this out and make it big of a discount. But what's brand new in Acumatica is the ability to ignore automatic line discounts. So if you check these boxes, any discounts that apply for this particular item and or this particular item and customer will automatically be ignored. So if we remove the hold here and release this, and we write up a new sales order. You could see we got this price. Now, if we go to discount codes, we can see all of our different types of discounts. So I'm looking for a discount with a customer and an item, and I want a line discount. So if I go over here, I'm going to uncheck manual because we want this to be automatic and we'll open this discount up notice what this does is it allows us to pick an item and a customer if these two match then it'll apply a discount so if we add a sequence here our discount will be by percentage we could do amount also the break will be by amount but it could be quantity we'll do a quantity and we'll add a pending break amount. So let's say the customer buys 10 of them. We'll give them another 10%, essentially, assuming the ignore is not checked, of course. So now we'll go over to the item. We'll pick our Acer laptop. We'll go to customer, and we'll pick the Church of Apostles. We'll save it. We'll update it. Updates required because what that'll do is it'll move these items from pending to effective based on the date that we have. So this is effective 8.8. Now, if we go back to our sales order and we adjust this to 10 and save it, notice there's no change. Of course, there shouldn't be because we're ignoring it. I'm going to change this back to 1. 
and I'm gonna go back to our sales price worksheet and I'm gonna copy this because we've already released it and I'm gonna add a brand new one and paste this and I'm gonna make this price just so we can see it clearly. I'm gonna make it 325 so we know that it's different and I'm gonna uncheck this automatic discount. Now I'm gonna go to sales orders and I'll remove this line. And we'll add that Acer line again. And you can see that our new sales price worksheet is in effect. It's $325. Now, if I go over here and add 10, you can now see that we picked up an additional discount. That's that line discount. We added another 10%, another 325, 325 against 10 of them. And you could see it's updated here. In a previous video, we talked about how Acumatica changed the sales order and invoice and purchase order documents around to show different fields. Well, you could see the discount total here. If we go to totals, you could see the $325 line discount. Keep in mind that the $325 base price for this customer isn't applicable as a discount. It's not a discount. It's just a new price. So keep that in mind when you're organizing your pricing. What should be a discount? Essentially visible to customers. And what should just be a uh, tiered price? But that's it. That's the ability to ignore automatic line discounts. Acumatica's added it now to 2023 R2. If you found this useful, please click the like button. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.